Hey, hey, how's it going? It's Joni with Weathered Wings, and I am here to inspire you to create something pretty. Do you have a metal table or any, like a metal file cabinet, anything metal? Um, did you know that DIY paint covers metal? It goes on beautifully. So, um, let me make sure my sound is off before I get to doing this. I'm going to text our friends in the community. Okay, hold on. Can't get the link. Okay. So, if you want to be notified when I go live, you can also text me at 205-255-9496. And I will just send you a text. All you have to do is say hello. And I'll send you a text just like I'm doing here. You'll get a link straight to the uh, straight to the video. Okay, straight to the live. All right. So that's it. That's all I have to do. Let me find myself again. Bring myself up. So I'll put this down here. So I have this table. This little metal. It's a little metal side table, like it. It can hold, uh, you know, magazines or something. Y'all see it like, let me see, let me come down just a little bit more maybe. Okay. Now, I'm going to try, and it's, it's not a real light table. And so, I'm going to try to put this decoupage paper on top of it. And I'm try, I'm going to try to lift it to do it. We're going to see. Um, who knows? It may be a big fat mess. But the first thing I'm going to do is just paint, um, is this the color I want? I think so. This is the paper. I was going to use a transfer. I was going back and forth, back and forth. But I really like this paper. Um, and so, it, the background, it has a little bit of pink in it. I don't know if y'all can tell that. But it's mostly a white. So, I'm going to use um, Tarnished Pearl. I'm going to sit that back down there. Hopefully, I don't... Um, all right, so I'm going to use Tarnished Pearl by DIY. So DIY paint is a clay-based uh, mineral paint. Let's see who's on here. Hey, Sherry. Let me put my glasses on so I can see. Oh, let me do the comments up here. I know it's a little bit different today. Um, I don't have the picture-in-picture because picture I didn't know actually where I was going to be. Um, hey, Doris. How goes it? Hey, Shannon. It's a nasty, rainy day here in Alabama. I really just kind of wanted to curl up with Jazzy and watch her movie. <laughs> but I, I don't, I can't sit still. I don't know who I'm fooling. All right, so I just kind of wiped it off good, and I'm going to put on a, one top coat. Now, Tarnish Pearl is one that doesn't cover like the others. Um, so I always... I usually put two coats anyway, but this one may need three, but we're going to see. So, I'm just going to paint it on here. I almost used the uh, English Toile transfer on here. Couldn't decide. Couldn't decide. Choices, choices. That may be the hardest thing for me to do is decide what I'm going to do on a piece. So... But this, again, this is um, just a metal little table, but, you know, there's all kind of metal pieces that you can, uh, decorative pieces, and this DIY paint just goes on it very nicely. I normally would recommend using a chip brush. I don't know why I didn't get that out. I'm just going to put a thin coat on first. And it'll look kind of janky. Oh, I didn't put on Do Not Disturb. Getting text already. Oh, hey, kitty. Good. You got some metal you're working on? Oh, Sylvia. How's it going? <laughs> hey, 
Mary. Who am I missing? Donna is here. Hey, hey, Tony, Betty Jean, Joycey. Hey, ladies. Tell me, did you hear uh, Melanie? She called you out um, or gave you a shout out, I should say, on her podcast a couple of weeks ago. I've been meaning to ask you about that. I keep forgetting. Did you hear it? I was like, I know her, I know Tony. She was like, Tony Lynn McGee. I know I need to be doing Christmas. I need to be working on Christmas, but somehow I just, I don't know. So, nice thin layer, all right? I'm not worrying about if I get it on a little bit of the table because it, uh, you know, it wipes off until you, oh, let me get my heat gun. Sorry, sorry, sorry. And with its short cord, so I'm gonna heat it up. Tony's got me large. So I, I am streaming to YouTube and Facebook right now. So if you want to see it large on your TV and you have a smart TV, you can uh, watch it there. See how it's drying? Ooh. This is a really pretty white it has a gray tint to it. Maybe that'll, maybe that'll, um, help over there. Sorry, y'all. Focus. Too much distracted. Um, file cabinets are really good. You know, they've got little file cabinets. I have one over here that was a cool one that I, um, painted green and then I stamped in white. Y'all probably seen that. All right, here goes my second coat. So y'all know with the second coat... Of course, the second coat's gonna cover better. And it's better to wait till it dries. Um, and then, but then you're gonna wanna spritz it. See, can you see how good that looks? If your paint starts dragging and sticking, then you can spritz it with a little water bottle. Um, like this. Any kind of sprayer, but like these are the best, the little misters. Um, and I got mine at Sally's. But Hobby Lobby, I think, has them and Amazon. So I'm using a really light tan right here. I 
I love this color. I was obsessed with it when we first got it. Now I don't know why I don't, I don't use it that much. I don't know why, because I love it. Every time I do, I'm like, oh, I love this color. It's just kind of an antique white. Really pretty. Let's see. <laughs> Going to be mutimous. I hope so. Um, hey, uh, oh, it's rainy there too. Oh, I was about to say hey. To, um, hey, Penny. Beth. Um, hey, Nancy. Yucky in Florida too. I'm going to Florida next week. Um, we're going to Flagler Beach. We've been going there. Um, you know, it's not far from, well, it's about an hour from, from St. Augustine, an hour from Orlando. Um, it's, it's kind of a little secret place. It's never crowded. It's not like the Gulf, you know, it's not the white sands. But it's never crowded and they have really good restaurants. Don't have to wait to get in. Um, so we're gonna probably go to Disney World one day. That's all that was the way we enticed our kids to go there instead of <laughs> instead of our regular beach place. Haven't been since the kids were little, 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 I mean. Now they've been, but I just haven't been since they were little. Ken, I'll clean up my edges when I'm done. Hey Cecily, how goes it? Where are you from? Oh, New York. New York. I haven't been there in a while either. But I've only been to New York City. New York City. I'm not even going to try to pronounce <laughs> what you wrote. All right, let's see, looks like it needs a little bit more right here. Ironically, that's where I wet it. All right, let me see what that looks like when I dry it. Hey, Lori. Sherilyn, how goes it? <laughs> Don't hurt it. Uh, let's see. Let me go ahead and maybe get a little bit off while I see it. Oh, shoot. No, it. <laughs> Tried to get the edge cleaned off before. It made a big mess. All right. Now I'm decoupaging over this, so it doesn't have to be perfect.
have some people. Why are you painting? tell if that's covering that or not. This way. I'm just going to wet it all just to get it moving again because Not, it starts dragging. All right, I think I'm gonna wait on that. Let me dry it and I'll have to touch up that one little spot. You don't wanna overwork it. You don't wanna keep trying to fix it. Come back with my little artist brush and clean that up. Francis, I am using, um, this is a <laughs> tarnished pearl. Tarnished pearl. Thank you, Sylvia. Um, hey, Francis. Um, uh, yeah, I, I usually use white swan or beadboard, but this is tarnished pearl. I usually try to, um, it really didn't matter with this paper, but I do try to kind of match the paper background. Well, dang, it would have a booger in it. This tarnished pearl is, is it's just kind of like an antique ivory color. I didn't, Francis. I didn't use anything. This is a metal, a little metal table. And I'm using DIY paint, which goes on anything. I was just trying to touch up the sides, and I, uh... I wipe them off. I'm going to decapage on top of it, so it doesn't have to be perfect. You just want that background. Top coat it. Do you put a wax or a top coat? 
so it's going to be lighter. scary part because I've got to put decoupage medium over it and you don't want it um I don't want the you know this paint reactivates with moisture right so if it's not good and dry it will just take the paint off so I've got to be careful so what I'm going to do first is move this out of the way for just a minute because y'all I'm going to try I'm going to try to pick the table up and lay it upside down on the paper. Because um, I, I don't know, I feel like I may not be able to get it straight uh, on the table with the decoupage medium. So, here we go. Let me put my paint top on. So, again, this was a Tarnished Pearl DIY paint. Let's see if I miss any questions. Let's see. Oh, you you know of it, Nancy? Um, yeah, it's a neat little place. I do want to go to Maine. <laughs> I'm still asking. <laughs> I'm still asking. Hey Pam. Hey Suzanne. Eastern Carolina, Michelle. Hello, hello. Hey Jesse. New Jersey girl is here. Meg. Okay, um, I'm not making, making, but I am putting, I painted this little metal. It's a metal little side table. Um, and I just wanted to decoupage this paper on there. This is the paper that I want to use. Okay, it's just kind of very subtle. You know, I just wanted something on the top of it and I couldn't think. So I have this paper and I thought, you know what, I'm going to try it. Um, could be a big fat mess, but we'll see. So, like I said, that's why I'm going to try to pick the table up. I just don't know if I need to think that through a little more because I could literally just tear it up with that table. But I don't know if I could get it on really straight. So, okay, I'm going to put some. Now, what I did do though, I drew some lines around it to kind of help me aim for a right place, so I'm gonna put some decoupage medium, oh shoot, on the back of it. What if this just sticks to the board? I don't know. See, it's already wrinkling. Already wrinkling on here. And that's why I was going to try to turn the table upside down. Let me do it this way. Okay, that does seem to be helping a little bit. dirty word in a minute. <laughs> it's going to sneak out. You know, now I'm a little bit worried about putting the table on top. I don't know. Let me think about this. Nothing like thinking on the fly, huh? half of it. Alright, 
I'm just going to keep going. This was my plan. If it fails, then y'all know not to do it, right? <laughs> I'm not afraid to fail. I don't call it failing. I say I'm learning. If something doesn't work, you're just learning. Let me see. Is someone saying, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, I'm putting, uh, this is, oh, this is DIY's, deca well, they don't call it decoupage medium. It's, it's um, liquid patina. It's DIY liquid patina. It's clear. Um, and we all use it as decoupage medium. You could use it even as a top coat. All right. So I've got that on there. Now, get my table back over here. I don't know if it's dry enough or not, but we're going to put some... Uh, I'm going to put some on top of this. Now see, this could be a top coat. If you just painted a metal piece and, and didn't want, uh, it's not shiny. So Big Top is, our, is DIY's top coat that's a polycrylic. But I've gotten where I use Paint Couture's top coat, although this is definitely a top coat, but it's not as sturdy as Big Top or a, you know, a polycrylic. And I, I don't decoupage much. I don't, <laughs> so I'm like, why am I doing this? Why am I trying to do this on video? But, I, you know, I think you saw those pumpkins I decoupaged and put glass on, and now I'm like, hmm, I kind of like that. So, all right, y'all, here we go. All right, let me see, is anybody saying anything? Like, please don't do that. Um. <laughs> hey, Elliot. Allie, I only put a little, oh, oh, too late. It's too late. That's what I said. I may should have just done halfway. Um, I'm going to try to pick the table up. Jesse's what I was going to do because I'm afraid this paper, I'm afraid I won't get it straight. So let me see about getting this a little straighter. Make sure the paper is, you know, I guess as straight as it can be. What do y'all think? Let me see. Let me see how it's feeling. Maybe I can put it on. I just kind of go by those lines. I can't see where it, the end is. All right, let me just show you what I was going to do. If I mess it up, I just mess it up. I didn't think the paper would wrinkle. I forgot about it doing that. do that 
with all this wetness on here. Okay, no gasping. I know y'all are gasping. <laughs> I'm about to gasp myself. <laughs> all right, let me see if I can straddle it and just get it right on top. Oh! Oh my gosh, it slid. Hold on. What a mess I made. Watch it stick all to the bottom. questions. <laughs> hey, Jeannie. <laughs> I didn't know when to breathe, Betty. <laughs> Pam, I thought I was. Jazzy is asleep somewhere. Thank goodness. Could you use the technique on a wooden table as well? Yes, Martha. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, <laughs> it's an extremely new technique to me. <laughs> I know. I need to try the iron. I keep saying that every time. I need to try the, the iron method. Um, <laughs> yes, Colleen, I'm about to put it on there. I'm about to put it on there. <laughs> you did screenshot. <laughs> oh, my God. Don't ask me what made me think of this. I guess I was worried that... Um, that I wouldn't be able to get it on there straight, that it would stick, and uh, I don't know. And then after I said I was going to do it, I just wanted to do it. Because, you know, if I mess it up, it's not a big deal. I just wanted to see. But I don't think that's the best way to do it. <laughs> I just keep thinking, if, you know, to put some on there a little bit at a time, like if I, I also thought about just put doing it halfway and then folding it over and doing the rest. That was probably um, better. It wouldn't have been as more, it wouldn't have been as fun, right? Jesse couldn't have gotten some funny pictures. <laughs> I really was afraid it was going to stick to that cardboard, though, because... <laughs> I can't quit laughing at myself. Oh, goodness. Never know what you're going to get on here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, 
So now, yeah, I'm going next time. I'm not doing this again until I get the little iron because I, I do feel like that's probably a better way. Um, yep, Colleen's all over it. You were reading my mind. I'm doing it. <laughs> Sherry, the paper's gorgeous. Have you ever tried the cling wrap? Got it. I got it. Got cling wrap. Now, I put decoupage paper, I mean, I put decoupage, well, the liquid patina on first, and then I do the paper, I mean, the saran wrap, so I'm not sure if that's the best way or not. Oh, that's what's been wrong. It's upside down. But, you know, I had wrinkles in the pumpkins when I first did them, and when it dried, I did not. So, there's hope. And it's, it doesn't look bad. Let me just see. It's all. No, nothing's going right today. <laughs> Can't help but laugh. I'm sorry, y'all. I have to laugh at myself or... Or, I may, you know, I could always stomp my feet. That helps, too. I've done that before in the junkies group. So, they've seen me pitch fits. Sorry, I just kind of have to hold my breath. I know, I was holding that thing up. I was like, am I ever going to hit the floor? Goodness. All right, let me get another piece. Um. <laughs> oh. Yeah, fun or funny? Yeah, I don't know. It was scary, I'll tell you that. Myself on live video where people are taking <laughs> screenshots. <laughs> oh, goodness. I'm too old to get embarrassed, I guess. Um, it's just, you know, I've done worse on here. Let's just say that. I've done worse. Smooth, right? There's got that creep. Now I've got my brayer. Yeah, this paper has a little bit of a pink background in it. It is pretty. I'm going to let those dry and just take a piece of sandpaper sheet and uh, 
uh, just sand it off right off the edges. Looks pretty good actually. It's pretty cool looking. Let's see, that one has a lot on it. Sometimes I will just wad this up as well and just kind of. But I, I feel like I've got a lot of um, got a lot of medium on there, but I'm gonna do it one more time with the sponge brush, and then we're gonna let it dry and hopefully. I mean that smoothed it out really well. So hopefully it'll continue to smooth out as it dries. And I I may uh, I may do a little waxing on top of it as well when it's all dried. Because I'm not sure if I'm going to do something to the bottom. No, I think I was going to do something to the bottom when I was going to use uh, the transfer. So now I've just changed my mind. Do you know, I don't ever know when to quit. So I may add something, something. I mean that concept sounds good, right? You put your you put your surface upside down on it. That way, it's you don't risk the paper like uh, clinging and ripping. I don't know. It's a battle axe way to do things, I'm sure. <laughs> oh my goodness! How many how many frowny faces have I gotten? All right, I think that's good, y'all. Can y'all see it well enough? I think you can. And so I will, you know, let's see, I'll somehow have to get these down. The sides there. happens on my page stays on the page. <laughs> right, Jesse? <laughs> oh, gosh. So this paper I got at Zazzle, y'all, ordered um, from Zazzle. Um, and I don't even know what it's called. I don't even know if it has a name on it. Anyway, that's it. That's it for now. <laughs> Just that a little bit. Um, see if there are any question. <laughs> uh, well, it, it wasn't light. I'm gonna tell you that it was not a light table. Thank you, Shannon. You don't understand, Kitty. There's a um. Did someone explain it to you? Yeah, Tony did. There's a little heap. Um, you put like, uh, what is it? What, um, what's that paper called? The wax, not the wax paper, but the, what's that called? Um, but anyway, there's a little bitty uh, crafting iron. And so you put that paper on top. Um, oh my gosh, someone tell me the name of that paper. I did. My foot slipped on the cardboard. Um, <laughs> uh, let's see. Yep. Everything worked out. Uh, Skeeter Hawks. 
Skeeter Hawks. Yeah, aren't they cool? Well, and there's two of them, so I wanted to get them both. I mean, I couldn't get them both fully, but I wanted to get them both. Um, let's see. I think the cling wrap acts as the glue. Oh, Colleen does the cling wrap first. Okay. I use both, Pam. I put, well, it's liquid patina, which is, uh, you can, it can be used as a decoupage, but it's a liquid patina from DIY. I put that down on the table, on the back of the paper, on top of the paper, then the saran wrap, then I took the saran wrap off and I, and I put some more on there, some more liquid patina. Um, <laughs> Colleen, I do. That, that's my problem. I like to try everything. Um, and I got something new in the mail today, and I'm like, oh, I want to use that. But... Well, thank you, Betty. Thank you for spreading it around. <laughs> yeah, everybody's going to be required to do this in class, what I just did. Parchment paper. Thank you, Meg. Thank you, thank you. Yes. So you lay parchment paper down. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> You put the part, isn't that right, y'all? I've never done it. So I'm sitting here saying what you do, and I've never done it. Um, you put the parchment paper down over the paper, um, and then you just, you use the iron. But what what holds the paper on? Do you put the decoupage medium on, and then you put the parchment paper, and then you do the ironing? Um, gosh, am I the only one that didn't know it was parchment? <laughs> Some people melt, oh, Pam. Some people melt the saran wrap as the adhesive. Oh my gosh, that would be a big fat mess for me. I don't know how I would do that. Um, all right, y'all. Well, we're gonna let it dry. Let me know if you have any questions. Here is, I'll turn it this way. And this is the top of it. Oh, ow. Yeah, so there's there's some coloration in the background. There's some pinks and peach colors, just very faint. Uh, but it's it's pretty. It's pretty paper. So I hope it dries like the pumpkins did very nicely. Um, that's it. That's it. <laughs> that was your excitement for the day. <laughs> it sure was mine. Um, all right, y'all. Uh, I really appreciate you joining me, and I'll see you real soon. Some of y'all see you tomorrow. Okay. Have a good evening. Thank you.